My name is John Trapel. I'm the head distiller at Still Austin Whiskey Co. A head distiller, you're overseeing the entire operation. You're making sure that you're setting your entire team up for success. It could go as far as making sure that every single delivery is on time, that you're ordering everything on time, equipment is running perfectly, making sure the whole entire team is happy, you're working on scheduling, the slow water reduction process, focused on quality, whether it's milling, mashing, fermentation, distilling. I first got into the business May of 2011, so a little over 10 years now. So I started working at a winery in New York, just doing very simple stuff, odds and ends stuff that they needed to be done. And then I learned how to bottle cider. I was like running a machine, you know, I was like, oh, this is, this is fun. Then I learned how to make the cider. Then that's really when I started to find what I really love to do, learning how to cook and distill and just being in that industry at that time for a few years, I knew I'm like, can you make this a career? And Still Austin really showed me that you can. I really wanted to expand my craft. I really wanted someone to believe in what thought processes I had. And at the same time, I wanted to align where, you know, they really believed in craft, where they really believed in not cutting corners and putting smiles on people's faces and, you know, worrying about quality and like really like making your own little niche. That, that was huge. I wanted to always stay true to that and that's where it was just a perfect fit and it's showing because we're growing so large and nothing has changed. We do not cut corners in any way. So a bourbon technically speaking can be made in all 50 states, it has to be distilled no higher than 160 proof, barreled no higher than 125 proof, bottled no lower than 80 proof. It needs a content of corn 51% more or higher and you know, aged in new American white oak barrels. The decision that you make that, you know, you could really call a crab, high rye bourbon. You know, I really wanted to make something that was different, not your standard 80-10-10 mash bill. That's craft. Working with a master blender like Nancy, giving tasting notes on every single barrel, that's craft. Where I really thought that we had something was when Nancy Fraley came down for the first time. She's the nose and she's like this really nice lady, but she'll totally tell you what's up. And I was terrified. And um, she was tasting everything and there was one thing that really stuck to her and that was the rye bourbon mash bill. That's now the musician. And when she said, you need to switch everything that you're doing and this has to be your flagship, that's when I really thought we had something. When we first started off, it was scary at first. Just getting involved in a distillery that is a complete startup. Not knowing really what our identity was. Really trying to figure out what do you want to make? What mash bill, what flagships do you want to make? And having people, everyone believe that idea. And finally just getting into a rhythm. We are really trying to be Austin. You know, what is Austin? We are a very artsy city. We are very music oriented. We're very outdoorsy. How do you capture that? Every single label is capturing, you know, whether it's the musician, the naturalist, the artist, with all the reserve series of having a local artist come in and make that label. Finally being able to capture that, I could confidently go out and say, like when someone asked me, like, who's still Austin? We are a distillery that is complementing the roots of Austin. Just seeing that come alive and seeing all the fans that we have now, that's really like the aha moment of, wow, we, we're really doing something here. But at the same time, it's always like foot on the gas, nonstop, never be complacent. That's why I tell everybody, this is just the start. Thank God we got to this point, but you just don't get comfortable now. You stay hungry.